All right, everybody, thank you for joining me again. Um, this is DIY with Jenny, that's me. Today is Friday, April 24th. Um, today we are going to do our drawings. We did these last week and we last week we did, um, we sent out a collage of thank yous to our essential workers. We did um, a medical worker and a postal worker. So today we're gonna do a little bit of both. It was just Earth Day. So we're gonna follow a tutorial to draw this really cool earth drawing. And then the next one is of a graduate. So we're thinking of all the kids who maybe their graduation is postponed or canceled. Um, I know my sister, she's graduating NYU and it's totally canceled. So we'll be thinking about them. Um, as always, I'm going to lower my screen. So I do this with you. I am by no means an artist. So we're all here together. Um, and I'll pause it every once in a while for us to all catch up. And here, let me admit that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna give it one more second. There's a couple people joining late, and I'll grab them in real quick. Alrighty, I am going to share my screen, and the first one we're gonna do, everybody have their markers and papers? Thumbs up, all good? Cool. Um, okay, the first one we're gonna do is our, uh, the earth drawing. So I'm gonna share my screen. Yeah, we hope you get to follow along with us. We always hope you Not follow this along one. because art is always better. Here we go, this one. Alrighty, guys. The Earth. Yeah. Now we've already drawn the Earth, and we'll leave a link in this video. But we're gonna do it a little different today. What shape are we gonna draw the Earth? A heart. Yeah, we're gonna draw it as a heart, and we're also gonna draw some other fun things with it. So we hope you're excited, and you're gonna follow along. You got a marker and some paper. Some paper. Let's start by drawing a heart shape right in the middle of our paper, and we can draw a big curve that comes around like this, and then down. And then we're going to draw that same shape over here and come down and touch down at the bottom. Is that cool? Yeah. Can you draw a heart shape? We're going to start right here. We're going to draw that big shape that comes down. And so a big curve and then a point down at the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's big heart. I like it. Awesome. Then we're going to draw another one over here on this side. Yeah. Oh, that is the coolest looking heart. Yeah. Skinny. Not skinny. <laughs> the opposite. Chubby. Chubby. <laughs> and we're also going to draw a funny face on our earth. So we're going to draw a big eye over here, and I'm going to draw a big circle over here for the other eye. Yeah. And one on the other side. And then inside of this, we could draw a smaller circle in the top right, and even smaller circle down in the bottom left. If we ever go too fast, or you guys at home can pause the video if you need extra time. Now, we're also going to fast forward. We're going to color in the big circle, but leave the two little circles white. Okay, so I'm going to pause it while we color in. Just give me a thumbs up when you're ready to go again. I'm coloring mine in also. For those of you who are joining late, we are just starting. We are um, doing two drawings today. Our first one is for Earth Day. It is an earth shaped like a heart. So we're following along with that right now. And then the second one that we're going to do is a picture of a graduate. So we can tell all of our graduates out there that we're thinking of them as they might not be able to have an actual ceremony. So I'm gonna give it just one more minute. Let the ones who joined in late catch up. And then we'll keep going with this one. All right, guys, we good to go? Thumbs up? All righty. Now let's draw the Earth's mouth. I'm going to draw a smile because we've got a happy Earth, right? 
And I'm going to also draw a big U shape underneath. So it looks really happy. <laughs> then inside, we could draw a little curve for the tongue and then color in the top part. It just looks like a regular. I'll pause that again so we can color in. All righty, let's keep going. Part, and we need to turn it into the earth. So we're going to draw the ground, we're going to draw the land, and we're also going to draw the water. First, we're going to draw a little curve that comes down like this. And it cur curves in and comes down towards the point. Yeah. Now you can also draw, let's draw it down a little further down to this point. So you can keep going further down. Yeah. Then we're going to draw another curve. It's going to come down like this. So it comes close. And right here, we're going to come down to there. Then I'm going to draw another curve that comes out. And it's going to come around through the mouth and then down and connect to the point. So we're going to start here. We can go through the mouth and then down and connect the, to the bottom. Good, and then keep going. We're gonna draw another curve that comes down and connects down to the bottom. Good job. All right, now let's also draw some more land over here on the right side. So I'm gonna draw a curve that comes through the eye like this and back. And then right down here at the bottom, I'm gonna do the curve back the other direction and then connect to the end of our heart. Yeah. All right, awesome. We did it. We finished our earth heart. It looks really cool. And if you guys want, you could add more shapes for different countries and stuff. But we're going to leave it really simple, just like this. Yeah. Now, let's draw some clouds. Over here, I'm going to draw a bumpy popcorn line. And then some of the lines are big. Some of the bumps are little. Looks like a little popcorn shape. And you could draw that right here on the corner. All right, we'll pause this for a second. Make sure everyone's all caught up. Oh, looking good, guys. Looking good. <laughs> oh, Nate, that looks great. All right, let's keep going. Got some bumps. Connect it in. Now we're gonna draw another one up here. I'm gonna draw it up over the top. I'm gonna to draw another bumpy line for another cloud up here. And I'm also, I'm gonna add a little one right here at the bottom and maybe a bigger one over here. <laughs> Do you wanna add two more shapes down here? Yeah. What's our earth missing? The sun. The sun. Let's draw another shape up here. We're going to draw a circle right above our earth. Yeah. Then we can also draw the rays coming out from our sun. And I'm going to draw a bunch of U's. Look at this. One U, more U's. Some of the U's can be small or big. And this is for the rays coming out of our sun. And you can even have some of those rays going behind the earth or even the, behind the clouds. Do you want to do that? Go around and draw a bunch of views. It, it looks also like water, like waves on the ocean. Now we realize that if we turn the paper, it makes it a little easier to make those shapes all the way around the circle. Yeah. What should we draw on our sun? Funny face. <laughs> Funny face. <laughs> okay, we're gonna draw. I'm gonna draw smaller circles since the sun is further away. I'm gonna draw two circles, and they're smaller. I'm gonna draw really small circles inside. This, these little white circles are for the reflection in our eyes, our cartoon eyes. So they look shiny and super friendly. Yeah. Then I'm also going to draw a smile in between the eyes. 
I think we should add one more thing to our drawing. What do you think we should add? A moon. A moon? Okay. Let's draw another circle right here. I'm going to draw behind this cloud. So I'm only going to draw part of it. Ooh, our moon is bigger than our sun. I don't know. I think it should be smaller, but that's okay. <laughs> Good. And then I'm going to add those little circles for the eyes. And I'm also going to color them in, but leave small little white reflection. So our moon eyes look friendly too. And then I'm going to add a smile. I'm going to add smile plus the moon is going to be really happy. <laughs> And then you can also add a tongue and color it in, just like we did for the Earth. The last thing we need to do to our moon is add craters. So I'm going to add circles to make it look like Swiss cheese. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to add one more circle. Now it looks like our moon. Good job. Add a couple more. We did it, awesome, good job, man. We still need to do one last thing, what is it? Color it. Yeah, it's gonna look much better. Okay, I'm gonna pause it, make sure everyone's all caught up. This part of the video, they fast forward and they show us what theirs would look like colored. For time's sake, we are not gonna color ours today, but I do challenge you guys to color yours um, after we're done and send them to me so I can make a collage again. So let's see what theirs are gonna look like when it's all colored. And this part we're gonna fast forward. All looking great, guys. That looks so good. Wow, Nate. Good job, Austin. You did a great job on color. All right, guys. Yeah, here's mine. Let me turn it around. Alrighty, how was that one? Okay, we are gonna share our screen again and we are gonna do the one of our graduates. And we can post that one too soon. Hey, welcome so let to all our of our graduates know that we're thinking. Channel, our family YouTube them. channel, and what do we love doing together? Art! Yeah, we love art. How much do you love art, Dawson? That much. That much, that's a lot. <laughs> we hope you're gonna- All right. Let me just pull this one up. Uh, you're gonna want a new piece of paper. I'm gonna grab my paper here. And here we go. Have fun and learn math at the same time with Adapted Mind, a fun learning game. Hey, our friends, so we're going to be drawing a graduate. Yeah, a person graduating, they have their gown and also their diploma. Yes, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper, paper and something to color with. Yeah, all right, let's start. Yes. Let's first draw an oval for our person's nose. We're gonna draw it right in the middle of our paper, but towards the top of our paper, so that we have room for the body down here. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna draw circles for each eye, one on the left and one over here on the right, and try to draw them the same size. Good job. Now we're gonna draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye. This is to make the eyes look shiny. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave the little circles white. I'm going to pause that so we can all color in. All right. Everybody ready? Now let's draw a mouth. I'm gonna draw a little curve underneath the nose, and then I'm gonna draw a U shape also so that their mouth is open. They look super happy, maybe even yelling because yeah. they're super happy. I know I yelled when I graduated. <laughs> We're gonna draw a curve inside for the tongue, and we can color in that top shape. Now anytime we go too fast, or if we speed up the video, what can they do at home? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video for extra time. All right, let's keep going. 
Okay. I'm going to draw a Pause girl. It. So we're all caught up. Alrighty. Uh, graduate. So I'm going to draw eyelashes on mine, and you are you going to draw, boy? Yes. Okay. We can leave the eyelashes off if you want. But also remember that you guys can add even more details to your drawings. You don't have to draw it exactly like us. All right. Let's keep going. Next, let's draw the shape of our person's face, or the we're going to draw a U shape for the chin, and come under the mouth, and then back up on the other side. Now let's draw a C shape over here, or the letter C for the left ear, and a backward C for the right ear. I'm also gonna draw earrings. There we go. Okay, now we can extend the left side and also the right side of our head higher than the eyes. Next, we're gonna connect the top of their head. Yeah, good job. Let's also draw hair. I'm gonna draw a curve that connects from the ear up to the hat, and then I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side. And you, you can do the same thing if you want. There we go. I'm also gonna draw a small little piece of hair that comes down right in the front. All right, now let's draw the cap for a graduate. We're gonna extend both sides back up even further on each side. Yeah, and then we're gonna connect these two lines with a curve. Instead of a straight line, we're gonna curve like this and back down on the other side. All right, I'm gonna pause it for a sec, make sure we're all caught up. Next, we're gonna draw the top of our cap, and it's always flat and yeah. a square. Squares. Looks like there's a book up there. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to draw an imaginary line right in the middle of our face. We're going to start at the nose and draw an imaginary line up, and then we're going to add a point. 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 <laughs> then we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down on the left and also on the right, and we want it to match on both sides. Yeah. Good job. And then right here on the left side, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes back in and also over here on the right. They also have a tassel that comes down on the side. We're going to draw a line down. Then we can draw a circle at the end. And then let's also draw two more lines coming down further. One on each side of the circle. And then we can connect them at the bottom. What should we draw next? Their body. Okay, we're gonna draw them wearing their gown. So we'll draw two lines coming down from the chin. And towards the bottom, they're gonna get further away from each other. Yes. Then we can connect those two lines at the very bottom. And then let's also add more details up here. We're gonna draw the letter V right underneath the chin. And then we could also draw a line across for the waist. And then also right at the bottom of the V, let's draw another line straight down. All right, I'll pause it for a sec. Get us all caught up. Okay. okay. Cool. Then we can also draw their feet. I'm just going to draw a U shape coming out at the bottom. <laughs> Two U shapes to keep it simple. I'm going to draw a diagonal line that comes down on the left and then we'll connect it in to their body. Let's do the same thing on the right side and then connect it in. All right. And then we can also draw a U shape for their hand. Now let's also give them their diploma. We're gonna draw a line that comes out like this. Then right at the end, we're gonna draw a spiral. We're gonna start here, and then we're gonna spiral around. We're gonna draw a circle, but then spiral into the center. 
So it looks like a piece of paper that's rolled up. Yeah, and then we're gonna, at the end of that spiral, it also looks like a cinnamon roll, roll. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm just hungry. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna draw the other end or the other side of the diploma, it's gonna come down from the spiral, and then we can connect it back into the hand. Let's also draw a little ribbon that's going around the diploma. Let's draw two curves that match the, the spiral. You can leave your drawing just like that. I'm gonna add a little more hair to my drawing. All right, we did it. We finished drawing our graduates, except we still need to do one last step. My favorite part, color it. Yeah, we need to color our drawings. This part, we're gonna fast forward again, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same color. Jack and Five, you did such a great job. All right, look at those guys. Here is my graduate. Let's see, guys. Oh, those look great. <laughs> Awesome! Those look so good! Oh, so good. Okay, so my challenge to you is to color in our, first our heart, um, earth, and then color in your graduate. And you can send them to me, uh, Jenny, J-E-N-N-I-E, at mygoalautism.org. Um, and I also wanted to mention quickly, on Sunday we have our virtual bowl-a-thon that's going on. Uh, it's pretty exciting. We've got some teams signed up already. You can find all the information you need at our website, mygoalautism.org. If you have any questions, let me know. And today's Friday. I'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks for joining, guys.